Hello, welcome to this CWP tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss creating a reseller account on Control Web Panel. In order to create a reseller account, we're going to have to log into our admin panel. You can access the admin panel at your IP port 2087. And then log in with your root username and password. Before we can create a reseller account, we'll have to create some packages for them to resell. So to do that, go to the left hand sidebar and open the Packages submenu and select Packages. This opens a list of packages that you have already created. If you have many, you can vary the number showing on the table. You can also search by name and filter by all or just reseller packages. You also have the option to sort by ID, package name, disk quota, bandwidth, FTP, email accounts, email lists, database, subdomains, parked domains, add-on domains, hourly emails, reseller, max accounts, limits, and actions. For any existing packages, you have actions available to either edit the account or delete. If you request to delete, you'll be asked to confirm to delete the account or cancel. To edit the account, this opens the Edit Package field, and you can adjust any of the parameters and then update. To create a new package, click the button Add New Package. Here we'll give our package a name and assign a disk quota in megabytes, bandwidth megabytes, number of FTP accounts, email accounts, email lists, databases, subdomains, parked domains, add-on domains, hourly emails, C groups or control groups. We can leave this blank if we don't want to put a limit. NPROC or the number of processes, Apache NPROC, inodes, again we can leave this blank if we don't want to put any limits or leave it at zero, and no file. Lastly, we have the option to indicate whether this is a reseller package or not. So since this is for a reseller, we'll check the box. Now that we've indicated this is a reseller account, we have to note the maximum number of accounts allowed. And then click Create. And here's our new reseller package listed in our list of packages. You can repeat this process as many times as you need to create the packages you want to offer. Here we'll create a basic version of our standard package and create. And we can see that that's been added to our list. And we'll add one more. And we'll create a premium version of our standard package and click create. And we can see that that's been added to our list. Here, if we choose to, we can delete any packages that are not necessary anymore. We'll confirm this. And that test package has been removed. And if we need to make any changes, we can click Edit. And make the necessary changes. And before we update, it's important that if we make any changes to the disk quota, that we check mark the update quota box to update the quota for all users using this package. It also disables the inode limits. And then update. And there's our changes have been saved. Now that we have some reseller packages created, we can create a reseller account. To create a reseller user account, go to the left hand sidebar and open the user accounts submenu. And then select new account. First, select a domain name. This must be unique among your users and enter it without the www or any symbols like slashes. Then enter a username. This should all be lowercase alphanumeric but with no symbols. A strong password is automatically generated. The admin email is imported automatically from your admin settings, but you can customize this if you wish. If you have multiple server IPs set up, you can select one from your drop-down list, and this IP will be shared by the reseller plus all sub-accounts. 
Then you can choose a package. Here's the basic, premium, and standard reseller packages we just created in the previous step. We'll select premium. Because we selected a reseller package, the reseller box is automatically checkmarked to indicate reseller privileges. If we had selected a non-reseller package, we would have to checkmark the reseller box manually to include reseller privileges. We'll keep this unchecked, add a reseller package, and it checks itself. The inode limit is set for zero, which means zero limits or unlimited. The process limit is imported automatically from our package. It's important not to enter zero for the process limit. In this case, it would not mean unlimited. It would mean zero processes allowed for this account. So be sure you have a number set for this. If you choose to override the package number, you can do so. The limit for the number of open files for this account is also imported from the package. We can also override this if we want. For additional options, we can back up the user account. We can also permit shell access. However, this is disabled by default for security reasons. And we can also attempt to create auto SSL. When we're done, click Create. We get the success dialog and the details for the newly created account. When you're ready, click Close. Now to view this new account, we can go back to the sidebar and under User Accounts, select List Accounts. And here in our list of accounts, we can see the new user that we just created. And over in the Reseller column, we can see that they are indicated as a reseller. From this table, we can choose to change their package and select from the drop-down which package we want to assign them and then either confirm or cancel. We also have options to suspend the account. And if we do so, we can suspend only this account, only the clients of this account, or the reseller and all clients. And then either execute or close. We can choose to edit the DNS zone. We can change their password, and a new password is automatically generated. We can edit the account, and these are the settings that we saw during the account creation process. Note that we cannot change the username or the main domain name, but we can change the IP address, admin email, account type, package, inode limit, process limit, open files limit, and additional options. When you're done making your changes, either update or cancel, or we can delete this account entirely, either confirm or cancel. We also have the option of clicking on this icon to open the website. And the rest of the configuration of this account will take place in the user panel. We can access the reseller user panel quickly from the admin panel by clicking on this icon here, which opens the user panel. This opens the user panel for our reseller account. Here in the left-hand sidebar, we have the reseller submenu. We'll discuss the user panel reseller menu in the next video. For more details on how to use the admin panel reseller module, please visit the following link. Thanks very much for watching.